caused my Westworld addiction binge watching problem to film this video. I'm on episode 4 of the first season of Westworld and let me tell you if you haven't seen it go watch it if you have HBO because Hello everybody, my name is Allison and if you're new to my channel, welcome to Wonderland. If you are returning, welcome back. Uh, today I am going to be doing my book Tubathon TBR books and I'm so excited. This is my first year doing book Tubathon because I'm not busy and not in school so I'm going to be able to read throughout this whole week and be so excited to do all the reading that I've been wanting to do all summer but I haven't gotten to because I've been earning a degree <laughs> so I need to catch up on my reading and this is the perfect time. I didn't do the biannual bo book <laughs> bibliothon because I was still it was finals week the week of the biannual bibliothon and that was just like not gonna work out but I do plan to do it later on in the year but I'm so excited to do this booktubeathon I've never done like a book like read through so I'm super excited to do it how many times am I gonna say I'm excited to do this a lot so the first reading challenge we have for this booktubeathon is a coin toss and the books that I've chosen for the coin toss and I darken by Kristen White because I've really wanted to get to this book because I know I'm going to love it. I've had it on my shelf. The new one just came out, the fi the finale in the trilogy. So I wanted to get to this series and I thought to add it into here. And then also Replica by Lauren Oliver. I think it's a really interesting concept how there are two stories in one book. You read both and there's another book as well that I want to read. So I thought coin toss it out so let's see what I get I'm really bad at coin tosses I'm doing a quarter it's on the floor hold on I got tails so oh I didn't even label them wow I'm such a failure let's try that again <laughs> so I'm gonna label this one heads I'm gonna label this one tails because you know, that's what you do with a coin toss alley. I got tails. So that means I am going to be reading Replica by Lauren Oliver, which I'm so excited. I've already read a Lauren Oliver book. Um, I've read her newest book that's coming out in October, Broken Things, this year. And I just love her writing. I love the Delirium series. I'm so excited to dive into this book. The next reading challenge I'm actually combining because it has green on the cover. But it also is what I want to do. So people are going to think I'm crazy. But the book I've chosen for both of those is Asylum. It has green. And I want to go to a haunted asylum. So bad when like, I go. I've always wanted to go to the Paris Catacombs. Um, it's not really the same thing. But I want to go to like a bunch of haunted places. And I think that going to like a haunted asylum and like touring it because I do know that there are places like more in the midwest that you can go and tour like old asylums and I think that's really cool so I'm going to be reading Asylum by Lum by Madeline Rocks and I'm excited I have the series I think I have the first three I don't know if there's more but I got these at Goodwill and I'm excited because I love a good creepy tale I mean I'm kind of a creepy person and I love paranormal stories and I love anything to do with ghosts or creepy creepers. So this should be a good read for the booktubeathon. The next reading prompt is a book to movie adaptation. And I am going to be reading finally The Fifth Wave because I haven't seen the movie of this book because I wanted to read the book before I saw the movie. And I just never have gotten around to it. So I'm going to read The Fifth Wave. So excited. I know I'm going to fly through this because I remember I got this at my library. And I read like maybe like 100 pages. And then I had to give it back because I couldn't like recheck it out. Because someone had it on hold, which is so annoying. And I had to give it back because I was leaving for vacation or something. And 
so I bought it and just never picked it back up. So I'm excited that I bought it into it. I remember flying through it and loving it so, so much. So I'm excited to read this and then watch the movie because I've wanted to see the movie so bad. This is my reading hat. It reminds me of Westworld, so how you doing? This is my reading hat for the book prompt. You have to wear this hat when you read this book. And that book is going to be is These Rebel Ways by Sarah Rorschach. I think that's how you say your last name. I'm sorry if it's not. And this is actually a book I've gotten from a publisher and I only have it till the 8th. So I need to get on it and I need to read it so I can review it. And yeah, I'm excited though because it just sounds really interesting. I don't exactly know the whole premise of the book, but I do know there's magic and like a war and she, our main character, has overthrown or helped overthrow the government or something like that like the palace and I'm probably butchering the synopsis I bet there's a good read synopsis that's way better <laughs> and I'll leave a link to all these books through a good reads link or through an Amazon link but I'm excited to read it so the next reading challenge I have is read a book with a beautiful spine and I chose the cruel prince because I think this spine is so pretty like I don't know about you but I'm feeling 22 I also have the white version with the gold and I just think this whole entire book is gorgeous but I really wanted to get to the cruel prince since I got it and then since I have um, since I met Holly Black and she signed this so I want to read it I've never read a Holly Black book so I have like this one and also the coldest girl in cold town and i've never read the coldest girl in cold town either so i need to read a holly black book because she's a wonderful author she's literally the nicest human being ever and she has beautiful books and i've heard like people raving over this book so i need to get on the bandwagon before the second one comes out so i'm in the loop because i'm never in the loop i'm always like 10 10 years behind i'm like yeah i'll read that but like when the whole series is out so so the last reading challenge is to read seven books and so that only gave me five books so I'm actually adding two others that are just random books. The first one is a reread for me because I want to reread the series. I haven't read it in a while and I want to finish off the series because there's actually a companion novel or a companion series that came out that I saw at Barnes and Noble and I just I love these characters so I wanted to reread all of these which are the House of Night novels. This is the first one. It's called Marked, and it's by PC and Kirsten Cass. And so there's like 11 books in this series, but they're really small. I remember reading these um, like in the summer in middle school and just loving them and like flying through like the first three in like two days. So I am definitely going to be reading this super quick and loving every minute of this reread. So the last book I'm reading is actually by an indie author that reached out to me through my email through I think Instagram he found my account and his name is Cal Mulligan and oh through my Twitter he told me it was through my Twitter and he found me and he was like that's I love connecting with other indie authors if you haven't seen my last video I'm self-publishing a novel in the coming year so that's really exciting but he reached out to me and he wanted me to read and review on goodreads his uh book it's not that long it's like an 80 page book words and it's a psychological thriller um touching on the concept what is and what isn't real called here i'll show you the book cover it's called the a mind of its own this is the book cover i actually really like the book cover it looks really good uh, for a psychological thriller and I am really excited. Oh. His book character's name is Rowan because I just opened it to like look at the book because I wanted to like I was sneak peeking and one of my book characters named is Rowan so great minds think alike. I love that name uh, but yeah he sent me this book and I'm really excited. I thought that would be just an easy 80 page book to read and to review for an indie author that reached out to me because I think it's really important to support indie authors and support them when they reach out to you. Even though they're not with a big publisher, they're writers too. Yeah, 
I'm really excited to get to his book and be able to review it and I might actually do like a full like wrap up of what I read, what I enjoyed, what I didn't get to. If I got to everything it might be a party, we might be eating ice cream on camera because that's going to be a miracle if I finish all these books. But I am so excited to get to the book Tubathon. So I'm going to probably do a wrap up of it and I will let you know what I thought of his novel and all of these novels. So if you have a Booktubeathon TBR, leave it down below and tell me what you're doing for the challenges. If you're excited for Booktubeathon, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with this Booktubeathon <laughs> journey. And I'm so excited to see what you guys are reading and see how you do in your Booktubeathon adventures. I'll see you next time in Wonderland Loves. Bye. Now I'm gonna go binge watch all of the rest of season one and season two of Westworld. Who needs to write a book? Apparently not Allie. Cause she's too obsessed with Westworld.